Hi, Richard Wilson here. Welcome to a new series of uh, TK's Guitar Tips. And I'm with the esteemed luthier and six-string scholar, Mr. TK, Mr. Tom Keckler of Memphis. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, basically everything to do with guitars that TK's encountered over his 55-plus year uh, career. Um, things that all players experience, uh, things to do with the construction of the instrument, things to do with uh, wear and tear uh, as well. And, uh, you know, it can be electrical, it can be uh, basically the, uh, the manufacturer of it. Um, so to kick things off, a customer brought you this lovely Godin guitar into the shop. And uh, this, how old would you say it is? Maybe Gosh. 30 years maybe? 30 years old, and I see it's had some wear and tear on the frets. Yes. And so basically you'd be looking to do a fret crowning. It's got enough fret left where you can crown, uh, in other words, mill out the uh, the grooves that the strings have caused. Right. You can, if you've got enough fret left, you can mill that those grooves out. And then, of course, yeah, you've got to you've got a scratch fret. You got to go back and take one of these, which is a crowning tool, right. and reshape the, the the fret, right, to get it the shape of the fret. And so that you save a lot of money uh, having it. It's kind of like if recapping tires were still legal. <laughs> ah, okay, I, I got it. So if there's enough meat of the fret left, you can. Uh, crown it and get them all even again right and then obviously you keep doing that over a number of years at some point it's going to be like a fretless wonder I'm yeah thinking. it's going to be refret or fretless wonder and refretting is very expensive yeah well it's actually very uh, labor intensive uh, oh yeah as well and the other thing that uh, we come across with uh, guitars you get the fret the fret sprout uh, which is basically at the edge of the fretboard as well. That can, you can get that, that happening uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, An even fret um, is hmm. what most players understand. Uh, frets must be even with each other. Right, right, right. right. And uh, if they don't, they, um, the action won't come down. And if it does, it rattles and frets out. So the frets must be level. Got it. Well, this is live television, so do you mind just uh, knocking off the Sorry AC? About that. Got the air conditioner going here, and uh, there's no AC. There we go, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's get it nice and quiet again. And uh, okay, so the other thing uh, that we're going to be talking about is is nuts. Nuts. Not the nuts you eat, but the nut that yeah. actually goes to route the strings to the tuners. At the headstock. At the headstock. And that's always a, a, an issue and always an area that needs your expertise. Yes. And maybe you'd explain uh, why you use the uh, nut you do and you change what the factory supplies. Well, the factory uh, won't use anything uh, for the first, you know, uh, that uh, synthetic. Anything that uh, that cannot be that can be poured into a liquid and poured into a mold, then that's that's for them. Right, right. <laughs> it could be done, you know, as opposed to taking a chunk of bone, actual bone, and having to mill all the parameters of a guitar nut out of uh, for each individual guitar. Right. That has a lot of work, time, and expertise. Uh, but boy, does it sound good. <laughs> right, because I can attest to this, because I had a uh, a guitar and the actual nut, it was actually hollow on the inside. Mm -hmm. It was literally hollow. So you can only imagine, um, you know, the strings vibrating through that. There's really no mass no. to help the vibration and sustain it. Yeah. So... so uh, so we've got a very um, solid piece of material, a, a bone nut. And you were telling me it's from it's from a particular, it's from cows. Yeah, cow bone? steer. But, most of it's from steer, but they're they're particularly uh, raised, uh, believe it or not, because their skeleton eventually uh, is going. Uh, the hip part of the animal is the most dense, the uh, dense part okay. of it, wow. and. Uh, it, it uh, transfers the energy 
um, from the string vibration more yeah. effectively, more efficiently than a uh, synthetic nut. Right. But once again, I explained to you that uh, the uh, factories cannot afford to pay somebody, <laughs> me, you yeah. know, to uh, you know, two hundred and fifty bucks uh, uh, to cut a nut for every guitar yeah. that yeah. they uh, they yeah. make. Yeah. They'd like to. I get a lot of folks come in with uh, very expensive instruments, and they still have the synthetic nut, uh, micarta. Uh, Corian, those are both materials that you might find on a, uh, a kitchen. Kitchen countertop. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah, if you can't afford, afford marble or something like that. Yeah. And uh, it's catching on. The social media and, and word of mouth is catching on that, uh, uh, you know, a bone nut uh, is uh, far uh, superior to any kind of synthetic nut that the factory would have used. So yeah, and, and that's actually most factories, isn't it? They're using. You have to spend a ton of money. You get up into the seven, eight thousand dollars, you know. Then you'll get a cut bone nut <laughs> yeah. from, out from the factory. That's right. Gotcha. Well, this is interesting. This is another reason why everyone should be calling you to get their guitars detailed because everything just plays better when the frets are leveled and crowned. There's no divots, there's no buzzing strings. Yeah. Everything just feels better to the touch and obviously sonically. Fretboard is in good condition because right. uh, fretboards, uh, uh, particularly rosewood and, sure. and ebony, yeah. Uh, yeah. expand and contract uh, quite efficiently or unefficiently or whatever uh, than maple. So you have to keep them in condition. And that mm -hmm. means like a, a conditioner okay. and it'll expand and contract the wood. Gotcha. And uh, so you have, you know, if you're going to yeah. maintain your guitar and, uh, you know, a lot of players just got through eating a, a Memphis barbecue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they slime all over. It's the wrong kind of conditioning for the fretboards. You know? That's wrong. That's but, wrong. But we have so much to talk about for future episodes. Uh, everything to do with guitars, you know, maintaining them and getting them to play great. Um, that, uh, that everyone should call TK if uh, if you need your guitar looking at. And how do they get hold of you? What's the number to call? It's uh, area code 901-489-7857. Okay, there we go. And it's TK's Guitar Services. Again, mm -hmm. follow and subscribe to the channel and uh, you can see everything that we're talking about. And uh, so until next time and uh, more guitar talk, uh, keep on playing and keep on strumming. Take care. Bye-bye.